Amsterdam, a city with a rich history and a vibrant, buzzing present. One of Europe's creative centers and legendary for its nightlife, visitors flock to Amsterdam as much for the music as the art and architecture. So what do the players of the Dutch music scene think of this great city and how it impacts their music? Yeah, I think the quality of music and the level of bands and the professionalism and wanting to go for it and discipline, but especially the, 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 the quality of music is really good in Holland, in all diverse styles, not just pop rock. So yeah, I think uh, Holland's uh, a great place uh, if you're a music lover. We're a country really in the middle, a uh, place in the middle from, from the UK, j just across the, the sea, and then in the, in the east you have Germany and, and the Berlin scene, which is, is quite big. In the south you, you have the, the uh, Belgian scene, uh, where a, great, a lot of great bands come from Belgium. And Amsterdam is really in the middle of those, those three parts, and I, th I think that it comes together in the, in the music. <laughs> For me, it's, it's really much a, a scene in flux or like a skip hole scene. It's a really a hub where people fly in, stay for a bit and leave again. So Hudson Mohawk lived here, Gaslam Killer stayed, spends his summers here. Uh, Flying Lotus asks his manager to book him a gig at the BIM House because he really loves that venue. It's a place where people feel at home wherever they're from and they stay here for a while. I heard the other day that there's 126 nationalities are represented just in the city. And I think that that's a factor for a lot of creative things, not just my music or music in general, but all kinds of arts. Amsterdam has got the characteristics of a, of a big city of a cosmopolitan world, but it also has the, the vibe and feel of a village. And I think that that makes Amsterdam a very unique place on this planet. It seems to be London and, and, and Amsterdam are really just places where people hang out a bit and then spend their, as a, maybe as a starting point for their tours in Europe. The, the people that live here are culturally interested, interested in music. They go out a lot. A lot of young people live here. Artists live here. Probably 40-50% of all Dutch bands, musicians live here in Amsterdam. So you have really good climate for, for pop music. It's a small city, you can do everything by bike. The people that are in Amsterdam, they have higher ambitions than the people, for instance, in the east of the Netherlands. So they, they all come to Amsterdam to make it, basically. And um, that's what triggered me to follow my dream, which was writing my own songs. I think Amsterdam is a good environment to start a band because there are lots of venues, lots of underground small venues with a capacity of like 50 people and uh, I think if you start a band in Amsterdam you can uh, start off really quickly with practicing and maybe do some little shows. There is a dominant radio station who every now and then puts on the right, right records on the playlist. There is an important portal like the D412 uh, uh, um, writing about all relevant music. Th there are good festivals, uh, uh, so yeah, there is an audience. So an ambitious attitude and great festivals. But what about the music industry in Amsterdam? On the, on the music industry side, it's, it's kind of a fixed machine. Like there's not a lot of moving around. There are key figures who are making things happen. And if you don't know them or work with them, you're not going to get very far. Which sounds like bad news, but actually because it's such a small country, you can kind of get to know these people really quickly. Like in, in England, if you try to get to know the top dogs in London, for example, you're, ne you're never going to do it. You just won't be where they are. The good thing about the, the size of the small size of Holland 
is that uh, everybody can can play together without any logical uh, logistical problems. Of course, there there are bands who one the guitarist lives in Utrecht, the other one lives in Arnhem, and the singer lives in uh, in the south, and that's not really a problem. In other countries, that's impossible, almost impossible, unless you make music online. It's possible to to experiment uh, in different ways uh, than it would be if you're living in New York and you have to really survive from uh, your gigs and otherwise you just get kicked out of the city. The point I keep making to people when I'm abroad is just how high the standard is here. People, I guess people might assume that if it's Dutch people singing in English, it might be subpar, but that's just not been my experience. It's, it's, it, it's fantastic music that's being made here. Unfortunately, I don't think there are enough consumers in this country to bring all the all the acts through that should get a chance to stand in the limelight. that I really liked and maybe I could name 10 right now. I think at this moment the competition is, is the toughest it's ever been. Face that ace! Slice that throw! Ready for the feast! Look up to the sky! There we have it. Amsterdam has a diverse and burgeoning music scene, which is why we're keeping the spotlight firmly trained on the city for the rest of this series. Make sure you check out the next one at BAM.TV.